Good afternoon, everyone. Kyle here, uh, outside here in the clubhouse. Video 27, uh, January 31st, shortly after 12 noon. Gorgeous day, uh, probably 78 degrees. So um, a lot of work going on um, here in, uh, in the clubhouse. Um, as you can see, um, we, the trust work has, uh, has started here on, uh, on the clubhouse already. All the trusses are basically out here. And what they have to do is basically um, unstrap the trusses. And according to the trust plan, they have to match up the trusses. And that's when, um, so when they get flown in by the crane, the trusses are all coordinated because there's different size trusses as you move through the building. And that's how they want to fly them in so that when they fly in 10, it's the 10 correct size trusses for that portion of the building and the next 10 and the next 10 and the next 10. So that requires them to basically get the trusses organized so that when the day when we get the crane back, um, that it, it, it just boom, 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 all the way through. Uh, but they have obviously started on, uh, on this portion um, while they're going through that. As you can see, we did have a crane in for half a day and um, we flew in, uh, we flew in this section of, um, of trusses. And then you can see over here, that large support uh, wooden beam was, was, uh, was flown in. And then uh, this large support beam was, uh, was flown in as well. And uh, in those two pieces of support beam were, uh, were flown in. And as you can see, they've already started to do the rest of the uh, ceiling and uh, attic work um, in there. So, um, so that's what's going on. Uh, the crew is at lunch. Um, I'm impressed with how, 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 uh, how clean um, they're leaving the, uh, the site uh, for a Friday afternoon. So, uh, but here, to give you an example, here is basically the dining room space. All this way is, uh, is the dining room space. Um, so it significantly is larger, it's much cleaner uh, all the way through. So what you're gonna see here is, um, so a wall comes out to here, wall comes out to here, and then here we will have pocket doors. And these will open up um, the grill room to the dining room. So when we are having just a function in here, members can go ahead and have cocktails in the grill room. And then when dinner gets started, what we'll do, we open up the pocket doors, everyone comes into the dining room, and then obviously, because the grill room will still be open, what we'll do is we close the pocket doors and then that function, uh, that function starts. Because the way this is being set up with the kitchen, an aspect like that, on trivia nights, for example, we can still host trivia in the dining room and the grill room will operate on an a la carte basis. So beforehand, we could not accommodate that. So that's a really, really big upgrade and uh, it's, it's gonna be very, very nice um, for all of you. Uh, and then you can see here, I uh, just regular a la carte, the entrance, entryway into the dining room will basically be coming this way. There's a separate way, entryway into, uh, into the dining room. And then of course, the grill room entryway basically comes in through here, it'll be coming in um, through uh, through here into uh, into the grill room. So really starting to get a focus on it. And then over at this space, what we're going to do is we made a slight modification because what, and what I said I wanted to do with this space is basically put in pocket doors right here as well. So this space right here can act as a second card room or as a meeting room along with that space over there on the other side, which is dedicated meeting room space. But on the busier nights, Friday nights obviously we're busy in the grill room, I can open up these pocket doors and I can, we can, I can seat more members in this space. But if you decided you wanna come in, for lack of a better word, for a dinner party of 12, 
if you wanted to, you know, kind of have your own space, boom. I can set up a party of 12 or 14 right here. You know, the pocket doors can be, you know, quietly kind of closed. And, uh, and it almost acts as a private, as a private dining room. So that's a great option. And uh, I'm really glad that uh, we caught it and, uh, and it's, it, it, made that, it made that change. Otherwise, the uh, bathrooms continue to be going in. Obviously, the electrical is going in, and obviously, the air conditioning ducts are going into this space. So, uh, but we're, we're looking good, and um, we'll be right back. Where do you see the back of behind the cart barn? We're back behind the, uh, the cart barn. Let me give you a, a better idea now what we can spec. You can see the yellow uh, flags with the sticks. And if you follow those all the way down, turn, and head all the way up to here, this is the new cart staging area uh, right here. So you come between the cart barn and the new pro shop, and this is where all the carts are going to be staged uh, for golf outings, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So this will this will eliminate safety concerns we've had for years um, here out in uh, out the front. And then what you're seeing there is that's the cart path that you will now take around the pool area and then down past the tennis courts um, to get out and cross the street um, as far as as far as that is concerned. And then the um, the driving range. Uh, bay. If you see those, uh, all that dead brush back there, um, we'll have ten hitting bays, and um, the hitting, the driving range net is scheduled to be about 30 feet tall and uh, approximately about 60, 80 feet uh, deep. Um, and we've already got that uh, design, so you. you drive over there, you can warm up uh, and do that as well and just simply walk over to, um, to that space. So as you can see, they're prepping this. We look to have probably paving occurring, oh, uh, I'm going to say within, uh, within two weeks they'll be paving. And then what we'll do is we'll immediately move carts back here, okay, immediately. As soon as that pavement is cured, operation will now move here in the back. So. Wait till I show you what's happening in the fitness and wellness center. We'll be right back. Hi, so obviously you're right next to the card barn, pro shop. Um, what you see having put in here is, uh, is a rainwater um, drainage. So as it rains, obviously the water will slope down into, uh, into the drain. And actually that rainwater will flow underground this way. Um, so that's where that is. We currently do have a, a plan to put in um, some type of barrier, whether it be a wall. We've got a couple of, of concepts that are out there on the market so that when you're coming out of the pro shop, you're not looking over at, uh, at the card barn. So you'd come on out, come on out here, out to the card staging area. So um, all we and stuccoing uh, the space up here. Uh, as you can see, it uh, really looks nice. As I described this space before, this is where the water station is going to go and uh, the coffee station is going to go for coffee in the morning. And then this is where all the scoreboards will be and uh, all of the announcements. And then, of course, we'll have casual furniture out here. So um, you can relax while you're waiting for somebody to come up for golf, um, et cetera, et cetera. So this is going to be a really, really nice space. I really, I, really, uh, I really like that. So inside, all the drywall is in. Um, they've been working. There's crews on the whole other side of the building. And uh, they're suckling the front and uh, in the side. The back of the building is, um, is already done, um, and I'm not going to walk on that. Um, I'm going to head around to this corner, 
right here. side they have probably a dozen guys doing stucco um, today but it's a, it's a really nice finish I'm really really impressed um, with, uh, with the work that, uh, that they did um, all the way through. The bathrooms as I previously described are um, all um, drywalled in and uh, all the way through. The pro shop very nicely and then um, in here they are wrapping up a couple of things but uh, they keep moving along um, this space will be ready for painting before you can blink an eye um, so that's all um, that's all really really good stuff as well so over in here This is the uh, dedicated aerobics room space uh, and uh, in storage. Uh, this wall will have mirrors, it will have a rail. There will be uh, doorways in here, so when aerobics classes are being held, um, they're being held privately um, without people, you know, bothering whatever class it might be, whether it's yoga, aerobics, um, whatever that might be. So um, uh, that, and then as we go into here, I showed you the bathrooms last week. Um, this is kind of a center point area. There'll be some chairs um, here. And then this space is um, the, uh, all the fitness equipment uh, is, into, is into this space. And uh, so it's really, it's going well. It's going real well. It's really taking shape. You can see the stucco guys out front are, are working on uh, both sides of the building. So it, um, it's, really, uh, it's really good stuff. It's really good stuff. Okay, a couple of updates. Um, Monday, this Monday at three o'clock is um, the February board meeting. And um, uh, so that's at three o'clock. Uh, the biggest portion on the agenda is going to be really talking the project and uh, talking about our audiovisual equipment, interior design, what we can expect in interior design um, themes and all of that as part of, uh, as part of the project. So, um, so that's gonna be good. The ballots for the food and beverage vote, go private or go public, those ballots will be going out the first part of the week Right now, our strategy is to put those in with the statements. You will have an envelope, all right? In that envelope, we're not going to receive the ballots back here by mail. Our, our associate law firm that does some work for us, uh, Peck and Peck, has agreed to receive the ballots via mail, and they will also uh, conduct the vote. And right now, the ballots and the return of those um, need to be in by uh, February 25th. If you bring the ballots into the office, that's fine. We're not obviously going to open it. We're gonna send those over to Peck and Peck every other couple of days when we have those come out in. We'll just go ahead and get those sent over to Peck and Peck so that they're in control of the ballots. The ballot does have a proxy in it. And because of the nature of this vote, which was determined that it needed to be secret, you will, the secretary of the association will be the only proxy holder, okay? So, um, so we're not gonna have 37 different names that we gotta make sure they're there, et cetera, et cetera. And that's the reason why, as it was determined, these need to be private, okay? So, um, so that's where uh, we are on the food and beverage. Uh, let's see, the town hall um, video is, is out. As of this morning, there were 506 views 
on uh, for the uh, for the town hall meeting. So thank you very much for those of you who weren't able to attend for looking into into that. I'm going to give you a little heads up. The restaurant committee is going to bring some exciting recommendations and uh, to the board meeting on uh, for Monday. But I'm going to let it up, cat out of the bag um, because the minimum is such a big topic. The restaurant committee is going to recommend to the board that the $400 proposed minimum is frozen for the first three years. Um, and I'm also going to dispel a rumor. And that rumor is, is that the minimum is going to be $2,500 a year. That's never going to happen. That's just, that's just trying to scare people. Um, but that's just ridiculous. That $2,500 a year would be, uh, would be a minimum. In addition to that, the minimum doesn't reduce cost. That's not the purpose of a minimum. The minimum is to have all 800 owners come in and use their club, okay? And in that $400, it's gonna go for takeout, it's gonna go for trivia, it's gonna go for bingo, a la carte dining, it's, if you wanna, your wine, etc. everything. That will go against the minimum. So you spend $50 that month and your opening minimum was 400, now your minimum is 350. You spend another $25 that month, the next month, now your minimum is 325. And it's, it's a declining balance is what the minimum is. You're not being billed for that. So that's the news for today. Have a great weekend and have a great Super Bowl Sunday. We'll see you next week.